Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Zechariah 8. This is titled Jerusalem, Holy City of the Future. Because Jerusalem is going to be the center of the world in the future at the millennial reign. So here we're going to see a more of this uh, Zechariah pointing to that future time like it has been. Again, the word of the Lord of hosts came saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, I am zealous for Zion with great zeal, with great fervor, I am zealous for her. Now, for those who are involved in replacement theology, this blows that argument out of the water. We're not Zion. It's Israel. Thus says the Lord, I will return to Zion and dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. Jerusalem shall be called the city of truth, the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Old men and old women shall again sit in the streets of Jerusalem, each one with his staff in his hand, because of great age. The streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in its streets. I want you to picture this as I'm reading it, because this is going to be a beautiful time. Thus says the Lord of hosts, it is, a mar it is marvelous, if it is marvelous, in the eyes of the remnant of this people in these days, will it also be marvelous in my eyes? says the Lord of hosts. So think about what he just said here. Old men and old women sitting in the streets because they were very old. And that's a thing people do in other countries to sit in the street and watch the kids play. And it, it, It's fun for them and it's enjoyable for them because it reminds them when they were kids. The kids are going to be playing in the streets full of boys and girls playing. If it's marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of this people in these days, will it also be marvelous in my eyes? I think it would. God likes those little details about us. So he'll be there watching this. Verse 7, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will save my people from the land of the east and from the land of the west. What land is west of Israel? Verse 8, I will bring them back. And they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. They shall be my people, and I will be their God in truth and righteousness. Good morning. She was there. She left already. Thus says the Lord of hosts, let your hands be strong. You who have been hearing in these days these words by the mouth of the prophets, who spoke in the day the foundation was laid for the house of the Lord of hosts, that the temple might be built. For before these days there were no wages for man, nor any hire for beast. There was no peace from the enemy for whoever went out or came in. For I said all men, everyone, against his neighbor. But now I will not treat the remnant of this people as in the former days, says the Lord of hosts. For the seed shall be prosperous, the vine shall give its fruit, the ground shall give her increase, and the heavens shall give their due. I will cause the remnant of this people to possess all these. And it shall come to pass that just as you were a curse among the nations, O house of Judah and house of Israel, so I will save you and you shall be a blessing. Do not fear. Let your hands be strong. Give me just one second. Okay, there we go. All right. Um, and it shall come to pass, just as you were, uh, verse 13, that just as you were a curse among the nations of, uh, O house of Judah and house of Israel, so I will save you, and you shall be a blessing. Do not fear. Let your hands be strong. Again, that whole replacement theology is destroyed just by one verse. For thus says the Lord of hosts, just as I determined to punish you when your fathers provoked me to wrath, says the Lord of hosts, and I would not relent. So again in these days, I am determined to do good to Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. Do not fear. These are the things you shall do. Speak each man the truth to his neighbor. Give judgment in your gates for truth, justice, and peace. Let none of you think evil in your heart against your neighbor, and do not love a false oath. For all these are things that I hate, says the Lord. Listen closely. He's being very clear here. He's keeping it very simple and basic. Verse 18, Then the word of the Lord of hosts came to me, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, The fast of the fourth month, the fast of the fifth, the fast of the seventh, 
the fast of the tenth, shall be joy and gladness and cheerful feasts for the house of Judah. Therefore, love, truth, and peace. He's saying these, these fasts that you do, I'm going to turn them into something better. Thus says the Lord of hosts, people shall yet come, inhabitants of many cities. The inhabitants of one city shall go to another, saying, Let us continue to go and pray before the Lord, and seek the Lord of hosts. I myself will also go. Yes, many peoples and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem, and to pray before the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, In those days ten men from every language of the nations shall grasp the sleeve of of a Jewish man saying, let us go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. That is going to be in the millennium. It's going to be incredible. It's going to be beautiful. That time, that millennial time, is going to be the greatest time of peace ever. Now, the only thing that's going to rival it is going to be eternity after the fact. See, in the millennium, people are still going to have to get saved. But it's going to be a little bit different process. We don't yet fully understand it because the Bible doesn't fully describe it, but it does give details into what's going to happen. It's going to be wonderful because Israel is going to become what they were meant to become. And we will be there to watch it. We'll be there to see it. We'll be there to partake in their them becoming the great nation they were supposed to be. And our God and our Lord being glorified. Seeing him rule as it was meant to be. It's incredible. It's beautiful. It's amazing. So guys, that was Zechariah 8. Pretty self-explanatory. Tomorrow, it will be Zechariah 9. Israel defended against enemies. I love you all very much. I thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.